Fair use, CBS 58. Fair use. You got to say that from, from the get-go. Predicts Essential Podcast, Hate Me or Love Me, there's no in-between. So, Side Chick got deleted by her 50-year-old lover because she confessed to the to the goddamn um, his, his wife on their relationship. Wish she should have stayed in the Side Chick's place. But... Obviously, she's 20 years old. She got daddy issues. That's why she confessed. It's crazy. But he deleted her for confessing to his wife. Stay in the side chick's place. Learn from Brittany Renner. Anaya Brunson turned 20 in June. A joy to be around. She can make you smile right away. Brunson wanted to be an orthodontist or a vet. Later learning she was good at making others look good. So she enrolled in beauty school. She actually taught me how to put on eyelashes and... Do my eyebrows. This is Brunson leaving you home still on look September 24th, texting her mom a smiley. I wasn't even there 30 minutes, and they called and told me her car was found. And I knew then, at that point, like, something happened to her. The day of the murder, police say Brunson met up with a married man she'd been seeing, Sutan Sharif. Strangely, he'd reached out to Brunson's mom. Oh. See? That's a 50-year-old man she's seeing. That nigga look like a criminal. <laughs> Yo, I don't mean to laugh at her demise, her being deleted. But it's like, why are you looking for a daddy figure at 20 years old? You 20 years old. You shouldn't even be trying to give your box to this 50-year-old nigga. Look at this nigga collar on his shirt. Be. It's all stretched out. He ain't give the cops no fucking resistance arrest. His shirt is neck collar is stretched out because it's stretched out. Because he's a weird nigga walking around the streets with a stretched out collar like that. But you wanted to give your box to this older nigga instead of looking for niggas your age. Because you're trying to look for some daddy figure. This is the problem. These young women are looking for daddies, B. Week earlier. He goes on to say, I want to be done messing with your daughter, but she's reaching out to my wife. September 24th, a friend of Sharif's called 911 after he says he saw Sharif on top of the victim in Sharif's car and that the female stated, he cut my throat. She was screaming and pleading for help. Police didn't locate the two then, but hours later were called to an alley near Keith and Palmer where Brunson had been tied, shot, and then set on fire. She was everything to me. God damn, the nigga tied her up, shot her, and fight yo, set her on fire. He didn't want to leave his marriage, but that's her looking for a broken 50-year-old man, B. That's crazy. Single mother homes is leading these young girls into a fucking tragedy, B. She was everything, and this is the most hurtful feeling. Police interviewed a number of people, including Sharif's wife, who claimed he'd been with her the night of the murder, which the complaint says was debunked through video evidence. And they think that they're going to be out here and live their normal life after they, you know, help with this. Sharif's brother-in-law, Johnny Allen Hopgood, is charged as an accomplice. Look at this nigga. It's still hard to believe. Look at the nigga's eyes. Not, These niggas are demons, V. Bond for Sutan Sharif is a half million dollars, and for Johnny Allen Hopgood, it's 50000 Both are due back in court next week. Reporting live in the studio, Michelle Fior. That's the problem. You can't run around with older men. They're giving you money. They're giving you money to keep your mouth closed. Not to be antagonizing his wife. And his wife knew that he was messing with you. She didn't care because... Either he was working hard, doing what he had to do to pay the bills at home, but he still wanted some young, young tenderoni at that time. You can't run around and thinking he's going to leave you. You wanted an older man. You're in your 20s. Why would you want an older man to love you and be your companion holding hands in the street and doing stuff when there's other young guys that's your age that's willing to do that stuff? That's crazy. It's a sad story to report, but it is what it is, B. Prediction Sister Podcast. Hate me or love me. There's no in between. Fair use for CBS 58. Um, rest in peace to the shorty. It is what it is, man. This shit crazy.